Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid Morning Manor. Lonnie Mattingly here. I'm glad you've tuned in today, coming to you from sunny California. And uh, what a time we're having out here. The sun is shining on the outside right now, and it's a beautiful day. And I'm still wearing my Monterey shirt from the aquarium there. I'm going to wear that the rest of this week. It was a real joy and a blessing to go there. And uh, I'm, <laughs> by the way, I record these on one day, so I'm not going to wear it all week, but uh, I'll wear it today. And uh, while I'm making the recordings for this Tuesday through Friday uh, editions of Mid Morning Manna, well, we talked about salvation, how important it is that we come to Christ. And then we talked about, uh, that was on Monday, on, on Tuesday, we talked about uh, how that salvation needs to shine through us. Uh, we talked about the fact that uh, there are so many people that reject the light. And one of the reasons they reject the light is maybe because our light's kind of dim. Maybe sometimes we leave the light off. We forget to flip the switch or whatever it is. We need to have our light on. Let your light so shine that others may see Jesus in you. Oh my, how important that is that we let our light shine. And the Bible says, he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. And so we need to just come, not only come to that light in Christ, but allow that light to reflect through us. It's not really my light, it's his light through me and through you to a lost and dying world. I, it's not my truth, it's God's truth. But it's mine now because I received it and I believe it and I want to share it with other people. And I want, I want my light to shine. I want your light to shine. I want us to be useful Christians. If you're not a Christian, today be a wonderful day to come to Christ. And, and we're talking on this day three, on this Wednesday, about sanctification. Sanctification means being set apart, to be used of God, living the light living being an open testimony in the world that others may see jesus in us the bible says in ephesians 1 18 that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye uh, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints that ye, god wants you to know that God wants you to know all the blessings that are available to you. And then he wants you to display, put those things on display and make your life like a, like a display case before the world that they'll see things they want. They'll see things in you. They say, well, I'd like to have that. And I'd like to have that. Wish that was mine. And then you can share with them. You know what? What I have can be yours because all I have is a gift from God through Jesus Christ, my Lord, who died for my sins. And I trusted him and he saved me and he'll do the same for you. If you're willing to admit you're a sinner, call on him, receive him, he'll save you. Well, isn't that a good news? Isn't that a wonderful thing? And what a, what a blessing it is to know that we can live that sanctified life and be a testimony for Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Ephesians 5, 8, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light. Now are ye light. Light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Let me read it now in one phrase, in, in one reading. For ye were sometimes in uh, sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Let me give you one more verse. We'll be done for the day. Ephesians 5. Chapter, uh, chapter number five, verses 13 and 14. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whosoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest and rise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. So he said, you folks, you that are saved, you are the light that is in the world. Jesus left you here to be a light. And he said, if you will live that light, it just may be that you'll help wake some folks up and they'll see the light. Let's do it. Let's be busy about it. Let's allow, allow the Lord to use our lives to bring others to the Savior. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we have the wonderful privilege of being that light, of being a bright and shining light. Lord, help us to live before a lost and dying world in such a way that they'll want to come to the light. 
They'll want what we have. They'll see things on display in our life that they would want in their life. God will give you the praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen.